one sister that survived uh, from infancy, and this is not one of them. So it could be just a coincidence, but uh, I don't know who this individual is. This was done after the fact by somebody else. Bottom part is not written by Bayman. One of the things that Bayman always did is he always wrote his capital R larger than his capital B. Uh, the stem of the small case B is one of the tallest structures that is occurring here. Against the wall, sorry. The first thing is always seeing the mist. The F line E comes off the baseline. There's a sharp little angle to it. If you take all the evidence in its totality, yeah, this thing's definitely a fact. All the way. <laughs> That's cool, man. Sweet. But looking at all the details of the signature, it's absolutely 100% authentic. However, if you look at the inscription on it, that was definitely written in later by somebody else. So what I would recommend in a situation like this, because it's not a baseball card. I would cut off the bottom part, and it would be beautiful. <laughs> okay. So, Drew, what do you think it's worth? Uh, it's a beautiful signature. It's a nice photograph of his uh, later years as a player. I would say anywhere between 2000 and 2500 retail. Okay. Yeah, that's about a fair price. All right, thanks. All right, thank you, Rick. Take care, guys. So what do you want to do with this? Sell it.